Hi friends, can you believe it is already week three of Camp TGIF? I know that I have had so much fun and I hope you and your families have had a blast as well. Last week, we talked about how showing kindness and generosity to others is the best way. Did you have the opportunity to show kindness to someone last week? Discuss with your family some moments in the last week that you were generous or kind. Did you know that one of the most important characteristics of our relationships is trust? Trust means to believe someone is being honest and cares about you. It means that if we don't understand, we are still going to believe what someone says. Let me explain. Has your parent or guardian ever told you not to do something, but you did it anyway? For example, maybe they told you not to touch the stove because it's super hot, but you still touch the stove. Or maybe they told you to leave a toy at home, but you still brought it to access kids and then lost it. When I was in third grade, I had this super cool blindfold that I bought at a school book fair. My parents warned me not to take it back to school, but I did not listen. At school, we had a bike day and I chose to wear my blindfold as a headband under my helmet. You can probably imagine where this is going. While I was riding my bike, I hit a big bump and my blindfold fell over my eyes and I crashed into the sidewalk. I will spare you the details, but let's just say they had a call for professional help and I still have scars on my leg to this day. Looking back, I wish I would have listened to my parents. I should have trusted that they were asking me to leave the blindfold at home because they care about me and my safety. But trust can be hard, especially when we don't understand. Today we're talking about what it means to trust God. In the best and hardest moments we face, we can trust God in every circumstance. families, let's play a game. Here's what you're gonna need. Something to use as a blindfold, such as a bandana, a bunch of pillows, or things to lay on the ground. Step number one, place your pillows around the room in an obstacle course. Step number two, blindfold only one person. Step number three, using only voice commands, lead them around the room without stepping on any pillows. You step on a pillow, you gotta start over. Step number four, switch spots and see who can do it the fastest. Hope you like some competition. This sounds like a lot of fun, so I'm gonna give it a shot with my friend, Eleanor. All right, guys, we're gonna make a pillow obstacle course right here. Let's do this. is blindfolded and now she has to get from one end of the room to the next without stepping on any pillows. Are you ready, Al? I'm ready. Okay. All right. A couple steps forward towards me. Okay, and then, and, then, and then bring your feet together and stop. Now go to your left, like directly to the side. A little bit more, a little bit more. All right, come forward. Now stop. Now come a little bit more to the side. Now you're gonna take like a big step forward. Yeah, one more together and you made it! <laughs> All right, now it's my turn. Let's resituate our obstacle course. Let's do it. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, you're gonna take like two small steps forward. One, two, okay, you can take two. Okay, now stop. You're gonna take a huge step, okay? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My sense of balance. Okay, now you're gonna go like a tiny little, a tiny little nudge to your right. That's great. And take one tiny, teeny, tiny step forward. That's great. And now one more big step and you're there. Woohoo! <laughs> you made it! We did it! Now you try it at home. 
We have been talking a lot about camping, but I want to tell you about a time when camping went horribly wrong. I was so excited to go camping with my family. We set up our tent, we pulled out our snacks, especially our s'more supplies, and then it started to rain. But this was not just like a little sunshine shower. This was a full entire monsoon. Our clothes were wet, our tent was leaking, and worst of all, rain meant no campfire for the s'mores. Fine, we made peace with the rain, we played in the rain, we tried our best to have joy in this unfortunate circumstance. And you know, it was time to clean up, wash up, use the bathroom. So we all trekked over to the camp bathroom and it was full of spiders. Ah! Finally, the ground started to dry, rain was gone, the sun was shining, it was time for s'mores. But ants got in our chocolate. Ah! It's okay, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna try to have fun. And I was so, so excited to go on a beautiful hike to this waterfall that I had heard all about. It was supposed to be this big, glorious, epic, loud, roaring waterfall. So we hiked for what seemed like miles and miles. And when we got to the top, it was nothing more than a little drip, drip, drip. How disappointing. Sometimes things just really don't go our way and we could feel really, really frustrated or anxious or sad. Sometimes things just really don't go our way and we could feel really disappointed, frustrated or stressed. How are we supposed to have a life of joy and peace when stuff turns out like this? Times can be really stressful and hard and we may not know what to do next. But this reminds me of a guy from the Bible named Paul. Have you ever heard of Paul? He experienced a lot of really scary, frustrating, and stressful situations in life. But he still trusted God. He still fought to have peace and joy, even on the worst days. You see, you thought my camping trip was bad? Let me tell you about some of the things that Paul experienced. Paul was shipwrecked multiple times. He even spent a whole entire day and night out at sea, like just drifting in the open sea. That's terrifying. Paul was put in prison and he really didn't even do anything bad. He was beat up and bullied. He didn't have a ton of close friends. He experienced many sleepless nights and many, many days when he was so hungry and thirsty that his tummy never stopped growling. Paul's life reminds me of our bottom line for today. We can trust God in every circumstance. You see, Paul knew that no matter what hardships or disappointments or scary things that he was going to face, that God was with him and God would help him. And if that was true for Paul then, the good news is that it's true for us today too. Paul brought his fears, his frustrations, and his disappointments to God. And that's what our Bible verse is all about today. In Philippians 4, 6, and 7, we read this. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Paul's words here remind us that no matter what happens, we can go to God through prayer and he will help us through. Even in the toughest, most disappointing times, we can have peace and joy because we can trust God in every circumstance. Guys, Camp TGIF Online has been so much fun, but you know what's even better than an online experience? It's getting together in person. And next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night, TGIF is here. I cannot wait to see you at Camp TGIF. It's going to be an incredible time together.